as an international renowned seer, an expert in the divinity, a philosopher, Dr. Climate possesses exceptional gifts. He sees the invisible, he hears the inaudible, he deals with impossible, he can read and see the future like an open book. Dr. Climate was born with these special gifts of visions, healing, miracles, and many others that have been proven before thousands of people. During his over 19 years of practice, he has changed the lives of thousands of people, big winners in life, politics, and great number of famous captains on industry owe their fortune to the gift that God has given him. Hundreds of unhappy hearts have now found their newfound happiness and have testified of their happiness. Dr. Climate Wiseman shares, My aim is to provide a service which is tailored to each individual and in guidance with the teaching of the Holy Bible, so you don't have to worry or fear as your future is in safe hands. Dr. Climate is generous and honest. Thanks to his gift, Dr. Climate is very successful in many things in his life. This sets as an example that you too can achieve and be successful in your own life and a true testimony that these gifts are real. When it comes to Christianity, we need an upgrade. That's it. That's it. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. Look here now. The Bible begins to tell us the captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up. Call on your God. He said, go, 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 Wake up and pick up a bucket. He says, Call on your God. Call on your God because you see, sometimes you need to have enough senses to realize some of the problems that you're going through are not normal. Some of those sickness you're going through are not normal. Some of those challenges that you're going through are not normal. Amen. Oh, but when you start talking like that, people tell you, oh, please, don't mind him. He's too, he's too religious. That's right. Watch it now. Get up. Oh, he'll take notice of us and will not what? Perish. Look here, verse 7. Then the sailors said to each other, they pulled each other. He says, come. Every one of you stand here. Stand here. Stand here. He says, stand here. Stand here. Stand here. Stand here. He says, stand here. 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 This side. This side. This side. No. Everybody. Everybody here. We're going to find out. Yeah? We're going to find out who is responsible for this calamity. Somebody, somewhere here is attracting problems. That's right. Somebody, somewhere is attracting problems. And the Bible says what they did. The Bible says, come, let us cast lots to find who is responsible for this calamity. Who is responsible for this calamity? Who is responsible? I want to find out who is the Jonah? Who Amen. is responsible for this calamity? And the Bible says, listen to me, casting lots. I'll tell you one thing, everybody, look at me. Actually, casting lot is the highest. I'm telling you this is the truth. As a prophet, this is what no one has ever told you before and you don't know about it. Even the priest, the high priest, he used to wear a jacket which they have to cast the lot when the children of Israel were dividing the land they cast the lot I'm telling you one thing they used to cast the lot but now when it comes to Christianity even is, is that not amazing that even after Judas hanged himself the Bible says and the disciple cast lot to choose between the two That's it. if the disciples will cast the lot what about you is the New Testament and now watch here now. Who is responsible why casting the Lord is the highest? We're talking about when you're talking about divine selection or to find out divine selection. We're talking about casting on. But today, 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 all oh, people talk and say, this is what they do. Oh, you know one thing. You cannot do that anymore because of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was there when they were casting Lord before. Amen. He was there. Even when the disciples they were busy, the Bible says, and Jesus breathed on them. He said, Receive the Holy Spirit. But when they came to choose the 12 disciples, they had to cast the Lord. Did you hear what I said? Amen. You're not saying anything right now. Amen. That's why there's no more disciples, real disciples, because no one has cast the Lord for you. I said, Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
And the Bible says the Lord fell on Jonah. It fell on Jonah. You see, the Lord, by divine guidance, and these people are not even Christian. These people are, are no, I, I cannot say they're ungodly. Yes, they're ungodly because they worship other gods, but these people are godly in their own God, but not our God. But yet, the fate chose the right person. And this is what happened. Many Christians, the, the Bible tells us the children of the darkness are much more wiser than the children of the light. That's why you begin to see when it comes to Christians, things are falling apart. Yet when it comes to people that trust other gods, things are working for them. Amen. That's right. Watch this now. Verse 8 says, So they ask him, tell us who is responsible for making all this trouble for us. No, they did not say, oh, you, no, no, tell us who. Because he may be carrying a genie there. Talk to me here now. Amen. Some of you, you don't even know. You are here. Somebody, you welcome somebody to your house. And when they come over there under your safety, they put something there. Mm. Yeah. The other day it happened to a lady. She been calling me says, oh, I, I, I find no peace. Somebody, something is tormenting me. And when I was praying with her on the phone, the Spirit of God showed me on her seti, under her seti, I, on, on the right hand side. And I say, you know, go to your right hand side on your seti. He says, how did you know that I have a seti? I said, I can see in the Spirit. I says, when you go there, you'll see a hole. When she went there, she cut, there was a hole. When she put her hand inside, it was small, small gods. Small, small gods. Small, small gods. We're talking about small gods, small gods, small god, and each every god had an, her name on it. Then our mind clicked. There is always this person who always comes once in a year. A family member always comes for holiday once in a year. She begins to calculate how many times that person has come. That person has come six times, and there were six small gods inside there. She pick up the phone, call the person. He says, the, the Spirit of God has shown my man of God that you have been doing something. The person says, oh, you found out. He says, yes. He says, why did you do it? He says, because I envy your success. So all every wealth that you get, every good favor that you get is being transferred to me. Whosoever has planted an altar, in your house amen that is why it's very important in your own home very important when you have flats like this with a hole always make sure you inspect am i talking to somebody here now amen when you get guests to come and sleep in your house after they leave frisk everything right. even the pillowcase am i talking to somebody here now amen you need to frisk everything check everything everywhere check everything check 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 and be led by the spirit to be praying in tongues go all over the place and find it it's like many years ago you know you know you know you know you know before you know uh, when when our daughter was small you know we were we, we were open our home you know we get homeless people to come and stay with us you know you know we you know so the bible says you know i had nowhere to sleep you showed me somewhere to start we didn't have you know i was just christian i always had a vision that god's gonna you know use me to open up a place where people can you know can come and stay and hear the voice of god so by faith i took a step of faith and i began there then i noticed one day there was this guy i met him in leighton stone and it's so amazing because when I met the guy, you know, he, you know, he is a civil he knew that I take homeless people in. You know, without conversation, you can feel, and you know, and I says, oh, you know, one thing, I've got nowhere to go, whatever it is, and I says, you know, and then come, we went to our house. You know, it, it's an amazing. When you in our house, you know, while he's in the bathroom, I had cook, 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 cook. So I knocked the door. Is everything all right? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is all right. But I noticed that guy stayed only one day. One day. One day. One day. And the guy left. As the guy 
I left, something changed. I knew something was not right. But I thank God there's an incident that happened in my home many years ago. There's an incident that happened in our home when I was growing up as a young boy. My father was very rich, very, very rich. We used actually to count money in boxes. But one day, he invited somebody and they gave him to sleep in our store. And that man woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning and set the whole warehouse fire. I remember something played back like this. When that man left, everything about my life stood still. Financially, everything stood still. Everything I'm talking about stood still. Stood still. Where I was motivated before, where I used to get motivated to do things, even to go out there to do evangelism, to pray, whatever it is. Mm. Gone. All motivation. I just feel like I don't want to go. I don't want to go to work. I feel I just want to sleep. I become an angry man. My wife become an angry woman. You know, but how many of you know the grace of God? Amen. But you know what? Something, you know, one thing with me, I, I'm very curious. I'm always curious about things. You know, since when I was a small child, I'm always curious. For example, I remember the day when my father bought the first cooker, you know, you know the electric cooker. We were the first people in our, vill in our village to have electricity. Uh, my father put the cooker. When I saw that red thing, you know, you know how the cooker burns like this? Amen. I put my hand on it. And they told me, Kame, don't touch that thing, it's hot. I put my hand on it. And if that was not enough, I put the other one. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here now? I was always curious. I remember. When my father said that climate, when they put the electricity, the first day they put the electricity first. The electricity, first time they put electricity. My father told me, you know, this is called electricity. I was about 10, 11 years, he said, this is electricity. You don't play around with it, especially you don't put metals into it. I waited. They put the electricity, it was connected about uh, uh, one o'clock in the morning, afternoon, as soon as I come from school. On my way from school, I found the metal. I put it in my pocket. I came over there. And I waited when everybody was not there. I put the thing there. I'll tell you this, that thing. The shock that I had, I peed myself up there. Yeah. First thing. The, 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 the maid screamed because the electricity went off. You know, it's not really like when you go, you know, sockets that are working proper. Those are the time when the sockets were for trial. Put like this. Oh, I remember. Oh, what I heard. I heard somebody hit me. I fell on the floor. And I peed myself. I tell you, since that day, I've never touched electricity again. Amen. So was hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my father, you know, after evening came, so electricity off again. He's coming. Why have you done now? Are you know, in Africa? Instead of them saying sorry, you know, if it was here, oh my baby, sorry. If it was electricity, sorry. You know, this is a blanket for you. In Africa, they kill you. Why did I tell you? If you had died, now die, now die. Come here. Eh, you wanted to die, eh? Now, now die for real. Now die. Let me kill you with my own hands. You wanted to die, eh? Let me kill you with my own hands. You wanted to die, eh? Yeah? Hey. Let me kill you with my own hands. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember one day we, we went to Zimbabwe. We were on the lift. And I don't know what in my head. I thought, let me touch this bulb. Because you know it's closer here. He. I was going for a meeting. As soon as did he go? Am I talking to somebody here now? <laughs> I remember my staff saying, please, Bishop, can you stop touching, touching things? The somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> so my, my hands were banned. Someone, someone said, hallelujah. hallelujah. I, I can't help it. <laughs> someone say, hallelujah. hallelujah. I, I cannot do what? Help it. I, I, that's one thing I've been trying to, but hey, 
<laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So here I was out of curiosity in my bathroom. I don't know. My heart just went. You know, you have a bathroom. Then I noticed that there something has lifted the bathtub. When I looked inside the church of God, I saw Obia. This man came to let I welcome him home for a place to sleep. Yet he brought some opia into my house. You ask me why? You ask me why? I am speaking to you. There is somebody here. Out of the kindness that you have done, somebody has turned around right. to destroy your life. That's right. Today you have to die by fire. Amen. Do you believe in miracles? The following video contains true testimonies by people who have received divine healing and directions through the ministry of Prophet Climate at the Kingdom Church. These people gave their testimonies voluntarily, without any directives from the church. Prophet Climate advises you to always consult your medical practitioner's advice before making any decisions based on this program. Hallelujah, man of God. Yes. We have got a powerful testimony from this gentleman. This gentleman has been all over all the ministries that you can think about but he had not found any solution he tells me that he has visited a lot of ministries but never found any solution to his problems but when he stepped into this ministry man of god doors are opening one by one but man of god what he's saying that um, when it comes to this service the fire service he has been putting all his problems lack of progress he has been putting it on the fire Everything that has been hindering him he is putting him on the fire. But man of God is saying from this month after the last fire service. After the last fire service. After the last fire service. Doors are opening. Now he has been able to even to open his own company under his own name. Somebody praise the Lord here right Not only that. He has been even able to buy a new car. He has a new car. A new car. Come on somebody praise the Lord. So doors are opening every corner man of God and he believes that it is the connection with this ministry and the power of the fire service pastor if I can remember very well when this man came here he was a broken man yes sir this is a man who actually uh, 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 you he was actually the not only the past purchasing manager uh, he was for uh, what company um, Tyrak uh, uh, Tyrak and what another company and, um, I've worked for this man his products over how many i saw the text over 24 is it 23 million how many i've just got a call from my um senior buyer and she says um do i want to come back to so offer me a job so i said i don't want to come back i, I just want to do my own thing now um he says derek we really want you back he said because um we looked at the reports and um you have sold 27 million books all over the world did you hear that no i said did you hear what this man says amen, amen. listen this man he just it last when you sent me a text last week he just received a call from one of the company this man used to work for tire rack he was actually the purchasing manager this man most of the product that women and men buy from these top shops he is the one that actually will choose them. He's the one that will travel all the way to Vietnam, to, to travel all the way to Thailand, travel all the way to China, to Hong Kong, all those places, making decisions on behalf of the companies. But this man, misfortune happened in his life. You know, you know his testimony. It is to do with his ex-wife. Immediately, everything was doing well in his life until he met this woman. And how did he meet this woman? He was actually introduced this woman. And as a result of it, this woman became a Jonah in his life. Yes. This man lost everything. We're talking about house. We're talking about job. We he ended up doing a job that even was so disgraceful. But since he has been coming here, God has restored him. Yes. Even he told me about his new house. Yes. Come on, if you're not a witch, clap your hand right now. Say, go. 
doors are opening everywhere. Listen, a new house, he even told me now, he is even decorating it. You send me that. And last week, he received a phone call from one of the companies that he was working before. Listen, because since he has been here, God has restored him. There was even a time. He spoke to me and he says, man of God, I cannot come to church because my car is not with me. As we stand here right now, he has bought a new car. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody celebrate this testimony. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I say somebody celebrate this testimony. Oh, yes. And this man, he received a phone call last week. He told me that my, the people called him and says, please, Derek, can you come and work for us again? Please, 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 please. He says they went through their, their, their sales and everything. They found the man, the product that he sold. He has sold the product that he chose, the product that he designed, the product. They have been sold over 20 something millions. I say millions. Amen. I say millions. Amen. I say millions. Amen. Worldwide. And it, 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 you can be able to see after the last fire service. I mean, every time when the fire service will come, he'll text me personally. And he say, Bishop, I am coming. I am going to be there. Today, as we stand, he has now opened up his own company. Yes. Some will say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some will say amen. Amen. Some will say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I love the name. It's called Del de Paris. So get yourself ready. The high street is about to be hit by new products. Oh, I'm talking to somebody here now. Amen. Some will say glory be to God. Glory to be God. Some will say amen. amen. And today he stands here to give God the glory Hallelujah. for what he has done in his life. Yes. Stretch up hands right now. And you can be able to see God has given him favor everywhere he has been going. Even to open bigger international doors. Yes. Stretch up hands wherever you are right now. Father, I thank you for your anointing upon his life. I release your favor and your breath. Amen. And everybody say, Amen. Come on. Hello. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. You know one thing, child of God, I believe the testimony that you have heard, the preaching that you have heard, child of God, has boosted your faith. You know one thing, child of God, I know all things are possible to whom that believeth. And today, child of God, I want to be able to encourage you wherever you are, child of God, to become a man or woman of prayer. Remember that prayer changes things in Jesus' name. And you know one thing David says in the book of Psalms 119, verse 111, that thy testimonies have I taken them as my inheritance forever, for they are rejoicing into my soul. There is something, child of God, when you begin to celebrate about other people's testimonies, God will give you your testimony. Actually, I see in my spirit that this week God is going to give you a testimony. There is a gentleman that you're watching this program. Your name starts with T. I hear a big financial miracle is coming on your way. If that is you right now, I want to shout amen wherever you are. Receive it in Jesus' name. There is a lady, your name starts with R, and I see that you have been diagnosed with a blood related disease uh, and you are really worried and concerned and you're wondering, God, what is going to happen to me? I came to let you, the Spirit of God has revealed to me, according to the Word of God, the Bible says there was a king called Ezekiah, and the Bible says he, was, he received a bad message, actually even uh, from his doctor and also from his prophet, that he needs to put his house in order because he is going to die. And the Bible tells us, so the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us when he received that report that to put his house into order is going to die, the Bible says he turned his head against the wall and he cried bitterly and he went to the house of God and he reminded God for the things that which he has done and the Bible begins to tell us as the result of that serious prayer and the Bible says the prophet was sent to him to go and tell King Hezekiah that he is not going to die but he's going to receive an extension of 15 more years I came to let you know I feel in my spirit that you need to bring that letter uh, you need to bring your prayer request here at the Kingdom Church I believe especially for the 9 a.m. push prayer we have push prayer push means pray until something happens and I feel I feel in my heart as you bring those results as we 
bring the, 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 the documents, whatever it is, as we've spread it on the altar this Sunday. I believe with all my heart that God is not a respect of person, but God is a respect of faith. I believe I see an extension. I see cure where your life is concerned. There is a gentleman, actually you and your whole family, you're facing some legal situation. I, I feel also you need to bring a document over this Sunday. I'm going to lay my hand on it according to the word of God, Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. I'm a believer of the prayer of agreement. I believe in prayer. And that is why here at the Kingdom Church, we have a special prayer service, one hour prayer service every 9 a.m. Sunday morning. Pray until something happen, and I believe with all my heart as I lay my hand on that document, child of God, God is going to give you the desires of your heart. There is a woman there also. You are going through serious issues where your relationship, where your marriage is concerned. I want you also to bring the picture of your loved one. Bring those pictures right now, those documents as a point of contact in the name of Jesus. And I believe as we pray over it, God is going to hear your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I just want to thank you for your anointing and your breakthrough upon the listeners that are watching this. There is a man called Trevor. Right now you are watching this program and the Spirit of God is revealed to you that I think that you are struggling. Number one, there is an, you are struggling where your finances are concerned. Number two, uh, there are some personal issues that you have been struggling with but no one knows about it. But God has revealed to me to them what they are and you want to be delivered from those situations. So I need you to go to the phone, I need you to call that number because the Bible tells us that even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered and the Lord shall save you. So today I declare and I decree that your salvation is here in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, I thank you for every favor and every breakthrough. There is a lady, your name starts with G, and actually I see, I see you always begin things and you don't finish well. I see there is a curse of good beginning but bad ending. If that is you right now, I want you to go to the phone. I want you to call that number right now. Right now, I want to come in agreement with you. I believe uh, there is a curse, there is a spell that was put upon your life. It must be broken today and now in Jesus' name. Father, I just want to thank you for every favor and every other blessing. I release your anointing upon your people. Father, you said you came to set the captives free. So, Father, I thank you for this reason. Was the Son of God manifested to destroy the works of the devil? I command every works of the devil facing God's people right now to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Spiritual Warfare Oath I'll always place the mission first. I'll never accept defeat. I am not a quitter. I will never surrender. I will never forget who I am in Christ. I am a barrier breaker. I will bring down the stronghold. I will be honest with myself and those under my charge and my superiors. Makers of the Miracles Pack, to all our soldiers in Christ, we make a commitment to you, pledge to protect you from demonic contamination. We'll go above and beyond the call of duty to ensure your safety, placing you first with knowledge and power. During you stay clean and protected, Till you come back to us with victory, yes, you will come back to us with a testimony. Makers of the Miracles Pack, come back to us with a miracle, yes, you will come back to us with a breakthrough. Till you come back to us with healing, yes, you will come back to us with a testimony. Anointing, taking care of the Kingdom Soldiers. Get your Miracles Pack now and win your battles. www.themiraclespack.com